Greetings everybody! Now, we're going to talk about special effects. We don't have quite as many as we had in Planet Coaster, where we had the fire traps, we had the massive water rings that would fire like huge gouts of water into the air. It's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more sedate, but you can still do some amazing things. Now, one of the biggest ones is waterfalls. They've added in top, middle, and bottom for the waterfalls, which is really good. You can create some really nice effects. But I will say this, do not be do not be misinformed by the titles. The top is probably one of the best effects that they've put in here with regards to water and is the one that I find will bring the waterfall most to life. Now, to do that, we're going to have to dig a hole, we're going to have to fill it with water and then we're going to have to build our waterfall. So let's get on with that now. So, little transition there, and our hole is dug. Now, let's fill it up with some water, and then what we're going to need to do is just throw a load of stones together to come up with our rough waterfall. For this, it doesn't need to be overly pretty. I just want to give you guys an idea of how to use the effect and how you can sort of layer it, which is the best way I can describe it. Just keep layering to come up with a, a half-decent waterfall effect. It doesn't actually take very long. Now, I will say this while we're slowly building up the waterfall in the background. These are expensive, so it's not like the, the $10 that it normally costs to put down most items. These are like $250 or $100. Now, if you've got a zoo that's very profitable, or a nice large zoo that's making money, then that's not an issue at all. You make that in a matter of seconds, it's not an issue. But if you're first starting out, you might want to ease off the waterfalls and the sprays and everything, which kind of makes sense. If you're a fledgling zoo that's just starting out, you're not going to have a massive, huge water feature right in the middle of the park. You're going to have to build up to that. Okay, so I'm going to speed this bit up because you guys don't need to see me build this stone pile. I will say this, the only little tip I'll give you if you're building a waterfall, out of however you're doing it, be it wood, be it brick walls, whatever, the very top of it just create a slight overhang because obviously the water doesn't flow just the way they've done it it's a special effect instead you just want to the best way to have it is to have a slight hang at the top so that you've got to hide the first initial bit of water under that just makes it look a little bit more realistic working with the tools that we have at hand and by the magic of fast forwarding our waterfall or our, at least the rocks the structure for our waterfall is complete Time for the fun stuff and actually placing the water. Now, if you watched my pool video, my building video before, you'll know that when you want to place the water, you want, or any kind of effect, make sure you press play because you're not going to be able to see the effect and you really do need to be able to see who apparently is texting me. Nobody's texting me all day. I start a video recording and they text me. So, as you can see here, this is the top bit. So, this is one of the most expensive parts. But, as I said before, don't use it just at the top, and you'll see what I mean. So now we're doing the, the cascade section, or what's called the midsection, the reward form. We just kind of fill out the space with that. Now, here's why I say the top is probably the most important bit. And that is because what you want to do is, if you think of the waterfall as the water's coming down, it's going to hit any flat surface, and it's kind of going to splash and cascade and become more sort of forceful, almost like rapids for want of a better term. So you see here, we're reusing the top section, which is quite violent, and the water's sort of bubbling and churning. And you just put that where the water is going to meet rocks and just create splashes. And that just adds a little bit of an effect. The straight fall just doesn't feel natural enough with the water. So you use the straight fall as like a filler, and then just dot it around here and there where the water is going to hit some rocks. Just use the top section again. And that will create this like the splashing effect. Now we're going to add the uh, the bottom bit, and as you can see, there we go. So that's the the bottom section right there, which is creating like the the, the ripples at the bottom. Now I will say I positioned one of them wrong because it's slightly too high. Didn't spot it in the recording. I would have gone back, but ugh, they closed the beta down. So annoyingly, really? Come on, grim, unprofessional. Put your phone on silent. So. That's probably somebody telling me, why didn't you do it better during the beta? Okay, so last by no means least, you're going to see here all the different little watery effects, the little fountains. Now, if you have watched the pool video that I did, and I talk about how you could have the jets coming off of the rocks, going into the middle, this is kind of the effect I mean, where you've got the water jets, and you can angle them, and they could all be cascading into the middle of the area. There is one last water effect I want to add, which I think will make the, the waterfall look a lot better, and that is the rapid section. 
So we're going to whiz and fast forward onto that. You can see me just place it at the bottom, and I think it finishes the waterfall off really well. So I'm just trying to get the height right and not mess it up like I did <laughs> like I did before. A little bit of foresight. Green, bravo. Well done. So as you can see, it just creates like a runoff as if the water's hit the hit the bottom of the waterfall and then it's kind of creating this violent surge out into the water looks really really good now there are two more kind of special effects that i want to show you that we've got in the game now bear in mind this is all from the beta footage there may be more added into the live game and that is dust and mist so let's go ahead fast forward and i'll let you guys see what the dust and mist can do so the best way we're going to show this, we're going to create like an archway. So imagine there's a path underneath, and this is kind of so we're transitioning from one area. So it might be I don't know your Arctic area, and you want to go into your savanna area. We're just going to create this archway. So as I say, imagine there's a path underneath, and we're going to add some dirt so that's cascading down on our guests to sort of give them that ambiance, the feeling of going into this new and interesting zone. Now it's not going to be super impressive. It's not meant to be. Just kind of want to show you guys. The, the dirt effect sort of spraying down as if the top is, is potentially going to collapse and the cave is going to fall in. And it just adds that little bit of feel, that little bit of ooh for the guests as they're going into the next zone. As I say, dust is not the most dirt, it's not the most impressive one you're going to find. But there are some really cool ways you use it because you can bring this all together. I'm talking about unimpressive <laughs> as first looks, this is mist. This is the mist. Yeah, it's just kind of mist. Hey, what can I say? Now, I understand that certainly the waterfall is the big one. That looks impressive. But the mist and the dirt can all be combined to make something really, really cool. And just to add real atmosphere to a zone. So let me transition here and we'll go into the area, or the, the zoo, I should say, that Cuddles created during the beta. And it's really simple, but it'll give you a real good feel for how you can bring a lot of these little elements together. And something that's really simple, but that looks just really cool and funky. Now, unfortunately with the lighting and that you can't see, there's actually dirt kind of cascading down off of that walkway. And the idea is they're walking into this jungle area, this whole feel of just going into a new world. And then, so we've got this mist coming off of the water, just rising up. I'm gonna go around. It's just designed to just give this immersive feeling that you're in this whole other world. You can see the waterfall going in the background. It's exactly the same style that I just did on the, the previous section of the video. But we've got the mist working as if it's all rising up. It's super simple. None of this is crazy. You can just see it chucked down a load of rocks, pathing going through. Got this elevated area for the guests to walk down. Got this really cool little terrarium building. Again, that's super simple to make. But it's when you add all the layers, you combine all these things up. It just looks absolutely awesome. And that is why one of the reasons I love Planet Zoo and cannot wait to get my hands on it. Have an amazing day, everyone, and I'll catch you all later.